Hello, and welcome back to yet another video where we're dealing with yet another Windows 7, not, not laptop, we're dealing with a desktop this time. And just recently I had like, okay, I actually got this the same day I'm recording this video, which I'm not sure what today is, I put that somewhere in editing, but this right here is a Dell Inspiron 570, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 570. Also, yes, I know you see all that dust in there. Don't worry, I am going to be getting it clean. Anyway, uh, I am planning to, you know, obviously reset the hard drive because... Okay, so the person I got this from, which is someone in my family, they're like, they're generous to give this to me since they didn't want it anymore. Um, they have some personal info on this that I just want to get rid of, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be reinstalling Windows 7 Home Premium on this because that's actually what this came with. And also upgrading the RAM on this as well because if you watch that RAM video from like what I that video where I upgraded my computer's RAM, if you haven't watched that I'll be in the apology if you want to watch that. Uh, this is the same exact RAM in that video and I'm gonna be upgrading it from three gigs, which is a weird amount. I don't know how much to the other stuff to eight gigs, which I don't know if it's open to over the system or not. I don't think it is. It'll make it run better if anything, so Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Got all that out. There's stick one. There's stick two. And there are all the sticks right there. Three gigs of RAM right there. And now we can put in our two four gigabyte sticks. Hopefully this won't take as long as that one that uh, the uh, computer RAM video that I made a while ago. Well, hey, uh, after sitting there and trying for a good five minutes, I found out that, look at this, compare this to this, look at this, I literally can't install it, because look, they're, they're completely different. I sat there, trying to install it for like a good five minutes, and this, I'm, this is stupid, why I want to let me do this, this is annoying. Let me put the RAM back in, I'll be right back again. Okay, I got the RAM back in. I probably look the biggest idiot trying to put this in into the a slot that couldn't fit this. I don't know what was going on in my brain. Anyways, uh, since we already had this open, anyways, you might as well just talk about the specs of this. Uh, obviously, I already said this was like I don't know, like three gigs of RAM, I think. And the hard drive is, you know, obviously not an SSD at all, but it has, I think, it has a terabyte on here, which actually is. Technically, the biggest drive I own since the uh, before this, the biggest drive I own was in my main PC. It has uh, I think around 500 gigs on it. It's an SSD, but you know this ain't bad. I don't know why you do down my storage for Windows 7. And I think maybe around when is this release? I think I'm gonna guess maybe around 2011, 2010, maybe even uh, 2009, possibly. I don't know. I'm gonna have to search that up. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. One thing that y'all might have, you know, been asking yourself if you're watching this video, is that there is, literally, look, look at that slot, there is no dedicated graphics card in this thing, which means we're going to be running off of whatever that CPU is, which I have no idea what that is. I think it's an AMD something, I have to find out. But, you know, let's hope that, let's hope that isn't dog crap, because if it is, it's going to suck for us, which, which I'm going to be using VJ anyway, even though this thing has an HDMI port, because the monitor I want to use is VJ only. Anyways, uh, before we get started, I want to say one last thing. This is the mouse I'm going to be using, just, you know, just generic Logitech one. And the keyboard I'm going to be using is just a generic keyboard. Anyways, let's get Windows 7 on, installed on this thing. Alright, we got everything set up, and I have the Windows uh, 7, well, it's obviously fake. I'm not gonna make another joke that I did last time. This is obviously fake. This ain't fooling anybody, but so I've got the disc burned. I got everything set up. The desktop is somewhere sitting over there. Just get this show on the road. I don't look before we get do that. We gotta get into the bios here, so I wanted, I just wanted to see if I could just no, I gotta change it. Oh wait, it's different configurations. Okay, that's what I want. 
Skype changes. Go ahead and put this disc in. Okay, the disc is in. Now we shall be probably be able to boot from it. Let's get this started here. Also, I do have a product key. It's on the uh, top of the desktop. I was just. Is it gonna ask me to put in the product key? I guess not. It's just not gonna ask me to put the product key. Alright, next. Alright, there we go. Well, uh, I've been recording for 15 minutes so far, and it has definitely gone faster than the Vista installation. I don't know what took so long on the Vista one. I think it's because, again, Vista's Vista just takes way too long. Well, this is where I put the product in. Let me put it in the bed. And apparently I got the wrong version of Windows 7, so I'll just... I will just do this later. I'll just worry about product keys later. All right, and here we are. And which sadly we don't exactly have any speakers for this right now, so I am not exactly going to be able to get any sound at the moment. But anyways, let's do when our when we. Yep, here we are, Windows 7. That's the Intel Inspiron 570, which, you know, I am actually going to be using this for a couple more stuff because this, I, I don't know, does this have, this might have better specs than that, uh, not e machines laptop. I'm pretty sure it does. Anyways, uh, you know, thanks for watching this video. If you watched it at the end, then, you know, you probably like this kind of content in which, you know, like, subscribe, do all that nice stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.